Hi, I'm Gavin from Cycle Route Links over in Scunthorpe. Doing our first bike review today for the shop um, on the new specialised Diverge 2016 bike. Full carbon fibre, uh, Shimano 11 speed group set on there, disc brakes. It's a gravel bike. A gravel bike which is aimed at the market where you can have drop handlebars, go anywhere you like on it. Uh, it's got vibration damping built into the frame and into the seat post itself. So we're going to go out on this bike today. I don't think I'll take it off road because one, it's winter, it's very slippery and the bike's got slicks on it. It's not a cross bike because they do a cross bike called the Crooks. So we'll take this bike out. I'll see what I think to it. I'll do some footage while I'm riding it and then we'll sum it up at the end. Um, you're welcome to come into the shop and borrow it. Give us a call. Um, I'll put the details on a link once I've finished filming um, and we'll go from there. So far, the bike rides really, really well. Now it's on a 28, 25 tyre. Um, it's quite wide for the road market. In fact, it's very wide for the road market, but that's the way the road market's going. Let's car pass. As I say, that's the way the road market's starting to go with the wide tyres on the road bikes. This is a gravel bike, so it's gone a little bit wider again. And so far, it's really, really comfy. I've got the tyres set at 80 PSI. Now it says on the side of it, 85 to 95. So why have I run them at 80? Well, if I'm honest, they felt really hard. <laughs> Let these cars pass again. 105 11 speed works so well for the average rider I don't think it'll ever be a problem it's affordable to replace if you break it and you've got every gear you could possibly want so we're climbing at the minute how many easiest I've got I'm still seated uh, and it's very easy all the power is going to the back wheel I can feel that it's not flexing all good. So we're 11 miles in. No pain or anything from it. But it shows how comfy it is, I presume. Uh, sounds very good as well. No fun pain. Uh, we're just descending down into another village. I've done a couple of downhill sections on a road earlier on. And this thing corners like it's on rails. Uh, we're going to go down 8%. We're going to film it. Uh, I'm not pushing it. Just gonna see how she handles going down this hill. Down into Binbrook. So corner halfway down, so we'll just see what happens. You'll I'll stop commentating because you can't hear me. second do a little review on it uh, put around the bike and uh, yeah so far so good uh, right I've stopped um, mid-ride I didn't stop in Binbrook to review it because um, there's a cyclocross race on there it was attracting a lot of attention because it's really bright um, so what I've done is I've ridden back about 10 miles and um, just about nearly to where I started from to do this little bit of review. I haven't got the spec sheet of it, but I'll run over it with you. Uh, and then I'll do a bullet point afterwards so you've got an idea of what it is, uh, what it's got on it, what it's made of, and things like that. So, just looking at it, there's always someone with a noisy car. So, looking over it, um, Praxis Works cranks on there. Not what you probably expect if you've got a bike with 105 on, um, but these cranks are super, super stiff. Um, really really good 105 11 speed as I said earlier 
um, and then it's got the Roubaix tyres that as I said again different sizing 25 stroke 28 so it's wider and taller so it's a lot more comfortable then internal cable routing bicycle mechanics nightmare uh, for me it looks really clean it's tidied up all the cockpit area because the cables go underneath the bar tape and then down and into the tubing including the brake hoses so you can see there the brake hoses go down one goes down the fork leg pops out down the bottom behind the zert there and then the other one disappears into the down tube and pops out at the bottom specialized own venom saddle with body geometry on there feels perfect for me um, for my saddle width um, I'm not sure what width that one is but we'll do a spec at later on um, this is a medium or 54 centimeter frame um, for me it's ideal I would put me personally 10 or 15 mil shorter stem you can see I've rolled the bars back a little bit just to make my reach just about right for me but if I had that shorter stem on there it'd be ideal um, so we're going to ride it back now um, now I've stopped I'm starting to cool down pretty quick um, we're going to ride back and then I'll finish off sum it up uh, yeah so there you go so I'm back got changed um, the Specialized Diverge brilliant bike um, if you want all-out comfort and you want to disappear up the yard uh, towpath on the side of a canal or even if you're on a green trail at a, a forest cycle center this bike could do it I, I, it would probably be a little bit twitchy in corners because it is it is specced with a slick tire but it could do it it could handle it no problem the wider tires and taller uh, gives you great comfort on the road as I said in the review I was running it at 80 psi I didn't need any more and I went over some severe bumps in the road British roads are not the best but it worked for me so what can we say about it it's an all-round comfort bike disc brakes brilliant You've got stopping power on a road bike um, if I rode my own road bike that's got carbon wheels in it in the wet I would be a little bit tentative going down the hill I probably wouldn't go as fast as I did today having the confidence to slow down worked wonders for me because the roads were absolutely wet through we had a lot of rain yesterday so I had confidence that I could slow down and you can see in the video there was there was quite steep bits climbing it's bolt through at the front end and at the back end so when it climbs it's very very stiff you again in the bike review when I was riding it I said I everything you put into the pedals goes straight to the to the rear wheel it doesn't flex I'm a bulky guy I'm not a racer you know I'm not a racing whippet so I was expecting it to give a little bit because it's carbon but they've built a lot of strength into that bike but have kept it really comfy I would recommend you come and try this bike from us at um, Cycle Route Links in Scunthorpe. <clears throat> I'll send you, I'll put the email on a, on a bullet point link at the end and have a look at the link. Um, yeah, and come and try it. It's, it's definitely worth it. <clears throat> Excuse me, a bit croaky because of outside the, the cold wear. Um, but yeah, definitely come and try the bike. Cycle Route Links in Scunthorpe. We're a new shop, but we've got some big things planned. Stay tuned.